Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with StudioSense and thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. I really, really like this German fragrance house. They're very prolific in terms of men's fragrance. They've released a ton of different fragrances down through the years. Most notable, the Scent Line, Boss Bottled Line are some really, really good OGs and some really good flankers. Of course, I'm talking about the German house Hugo Boss. We're going to take a closer look at a brand new 2021 release that kind of flew in under the radar, Hugo Man. So when we return, we'll take a closer look at this new release, talk about if it's worth picking up that and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're talking about a brand new Hugo Boss release, Hugo Man. I was able to grab this on a sale, a New Year's sale around January 3rd or 4th, I think it was the 3rd that I actually got it and I just got it a couple of days ago. It took forever because they routed the mail wrong. Ever since the pandemic and how it represents an interruption in the global supply chain, mail has been a little bit slow. So sorry that I'm coming at you guys late with this, but better late than never, right? So we're gonna take a closer look at Hugo Man. So first, let's go ahead and unbox this tiny little 40 mil bottle and take a look at it. While they're saying that Hugo Man represents a brand new era, it's definitely not representing a brand new presentation. This is the same bottle that you're used to. The only reason that it doesn't have the little you know, nylon tab on the lid is because they don't do that on the 40 mil bottles. It's gotta be 50 or above, I believe, or 60 or above, if I'm not mistaken. However, the wording looks a little different, so whoo, they went wild with the font there. Look at that, Hugo right across the front instead of you go. That's the biggest difference. It still looks almost exactly the, the same. That does seem to be the way of flankers these days. There are changes in them, but they are nominal changes. They don't want to they don't want to stray too far from the OG fragrance or the OG presentation because that's a risk they're not really willing to take. And I get that to a degree because they've invested a lot. I don't know that this is a remake of the original 1995 Hugo Boss, but that 1995 formula was known for having green apple. This also has green apple. So let's talk a little bit about the not really do a comparison but let's talk about the notes the original fresh aromatic fragrance to create your individual style that's the tagline of hugo man so it's got top notes of green apple it's got aromatic notes in the heart and fur balsam in the base fur balsam fur ba i don't know why i said it like that i'm sure there are more than just the notes that are published there my hope is that they aren't dumbing down the original but they're putting like a modern spin or twist to it and if they are, it's probably going to be encompassed by the heart notes, those aromatic notes, whatever they may be. If it's something like geranium or saffron or something that's just rosemary, something that's just bracing, biting and kicking. Um, I'm hoping that's the case. Maybe a little bit of juniper, something to, to kind of kick this in its butt and give it a wake up call. Because honestly, I like the OG. I've always liked it, but it could use a little bit of a wake up call. You know what I mean? Like a little bit of a difference, a little spin. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be kind of cool. I would accept that. So let's go ahead and check out that juice. It's like nails on chalkboard. It sprays quite a bit of juice. Hugo Boss definitely went the way of synthetic aroma chemicals for this fragrance, but that's not surprising. This is very reminiscent of Hugo Extreme, which is another uh, apple-centric fragrance, or the, I should say green apple, or that crisp apple scented fragrance. It's a very, very fresh take on the OG. The original fragrance definitely is dumbed down, and this definitely is a fresher version of it. It's a lot more voluminous. It's a lot more aromatic. You definitely get the bang for the buck out of this one. And that's why I say it's synthetic. There's definitely gonna be some aroma chemicals in here because it's very strong. This almost has the bite or the kick of an intense or of an extreme. Now straight out the atomizer, it is very fresh. It is very in your face. It's very apple-y. <laughs> so it's a definitely got that nice crisp apple opening. Citrus notes and notably fruit oriented notes like apple notes don't go very far on a linear tester strip. So I'm gonna try it out on skin. Skin has always been the best determination of how a fragrance is gonna do because of course our body chemistry is so different than you know just paper. 
I definitely really like this straight out of the bottle. It's got a very clean shower gel like presence to it. It's almost like your strongest aftershave that you really like. It definitely contains some bracing notes. Now, whether they're actual natural notes or synthetic aroma chemicals, it's fresh. This definitely is pumping up the apple. If you like green apple, fruity green apple, manly notes, this definitely has the framework of a fougere green fragrance, but it's also got the kick or the bracing bite and light sweetness, not much sweetness, however, of a fruit, the apple. So it's a very crisp, very perky green apple that's in this, but it is definitely a synthetic green apple. It's definitely not a natural apple note. Of course, natural apple note, what is that? It wouldn't last for very long and it wouldn't actually smell probably like apple at all. So obviously it's gonna be synthetic. My beef about apple and a lot of fragrances for men, it's just very soft and weak. It's just not done very well. There are a few fragrances that contain an apple note that do really well, like Armani Code Absolu has a really nice crisp apple note in it. This has by far the, the greenest apple note thus far, but again, it does have that little bit of a synthetic bite to it. The mix of these notes give off kind of a fresh, fruity, slightly earthy, even almost a little bit smoky. There's a fresh aromatic lavender note in the heart of this that make you feel like you're plucking apples fresh from a cold stream. And then those fresh, fruity apple tones are also highlighted by that woody fir balsam and pine. So this has kind of a terpenic pine, apple, lavender, aromatic, fresh, woodsy mix. So this is a relatively simplistic fragrance. For those of you looking for multi-layered complex notes in a fragrance, you're not gonna find it in Hugo Man. However, if you're looking for a quick, easy grab that's got a fresh masculine take on an original fragrance formula or DNA, or scent profile, this might be a slow burn for 2021, who knows? If it's at a price point that's relatively inexpensive. I would say once this is released at discounters, if it's right around 30 bucks or something like that for a 100 ml bottle, that will be a really good deal. In terms of longevity, if there are as many aroma chemicals in this as I suspect that there are, it's probably gonna last a decent bit. I would say moderate to average right around eight hours, maybe even slightly above average, it just depends. But that scent is actually projecting really well. You can wear it year round. You don't have to worry about particular weather. Any kind of fresh masculine shower gel like fragrance though is gonna have its place being dressed up a little bit. I could see wearing this with a suit and tie maybe, but it's gonna be primarily a casual kick around fragrance as a signature scent. It's gonna be a little bit less formal than some of those other dress me up fragrances or freshies. Uh, this one, however, again, quick out of the shower, quick grab, similar to another Hugo Boss fragrance that I really enjoy, and that is just different. I really like that kind of woody, fruity, pine scented, earthy kind of musk that this creates. It always has that apple backbone to it. It does definitely have kind of a modern pick you up kind of fresh shower fragrance smell to it. Again, if you like apple-centered fragrances, you'll really enjoy Hugo Man. You know, when certain movies were released back in the day, they were straight to video or straight to DVD. This is kind of one of those straight to discounters kind of fragrances. At least I think it'll turn out to be that way. As such, that's not necessarily a bad thing because you're gonna get it at a really good deal. And I think it's a solid fragrance. It'll be a solid performer. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my first impressions of Hugo Man today. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow.